Tranquil Garden is the latest LEGO for adults release, a truly mindful building experience with a final look that's not that common to see in LEGO sets. The all black base reminds me of the one from the Bonsai LEGO set and it has tire elements underneath to prevent it from sliding off of a slippery surface onto the ground. And as the product name suggests, the model is a garden, clearly Japanese inspired as we can see some architectural icons of the Asian country like the stone lanterns spread out across the model, the stone-like structure which I can't name and the Japanese pavilion. Rewinding a little bit you'll probably notice the unusual shaping of the structure which was achieved with a new 2x2 band plate, that's what I'm calling it, 12 of them included in dark grey and 4 in dark brown as seen in the pavilion's roof corners, an element that lines up perfectly with the pre-existing 2x2 plates with two studs. The building is clearly Japanese with the Choji screens and the pattern fence elements all around, but looking at the back of the model we'll find an entrance to the place where tea is being served. The wall and roof section can actually be removed so that we have an easier time seeing all of the tea ceremony utensils and a pair of slippers by the entrance. These 4x4 Super Mario plates were used as stone slabs to enter the pavilion next to which a stone statue of a frog lies. By the garden floor there's a few tiles meant to be stones leading the way to a bridge build cleverly made at a somewhat small scale with the use of O's elements in red going over the pond with a few more of those tiles as stones in the garden's floor. The pond has beautiful detailing but was a pain to build, at least for me, as I've had similar experiences with the river builds of Ninjago City sets. The instructions for it are this awkward top-down view that you need to follow precisely and can't make any mistakes, which can and will happen, making having to go back a few steps in the building process a tedious and lengthy experience. And the result looks great though, a few lotus flowers can be seen, but the most exciting aspect has to be the printed 1x2 tiles featuring two different koi fish prints that used in different directions give plenty of variety and life to the pond. It couldn't be a garden without trees and there's also a lot of variety in the species featured in the set. There's the small one spread across the model made out of a specialized element in dark green and then two cherry blossom trees in the back next to a group of bamboo with the ugly looking grey ball socket element combination Lego refuses to recolor, a large sized bonsai tree I think and a pine tree at the front. Some of these trees make use of interesting elements, the big cherry blossom tree with these elements at the trunk or the bonsai tree with a brown tail element of sorts. Lastly there's the pine tree making great use of a ton of the new fern elements exclusively recolored in dark green for this set. There's something really cool about all of these larger trees and this stone structure. They can be removed and interchanged to your liking as the socket in which they connect as well as the bases the objects are all built upon are standardized allowing you to do 720 different permutations Google tells me. So you can customize the garden to your liking and make it look different every now and then which is is great. Too many specialized Lego pieces made all of the detailing possible at this scale, but took away some of the Lego vibe I was hoping to get out of this set. Still mindful, still a great building experience, just not an amazing experience overall, at least for me. The price of the set at $110 for a little over 1300 pieces is actually great for a no sticker with exclusive prints and new elements set. To put things in perspective, the Corvette that we'll be releasing in a few days as well has more than a hundred pieces less but costs $40 more, so there's that. And fair comparison due to the large tire elements and brand deal, but still it's, it's a big difference. The Tranquil Garden makes for a great display piece and gift to give to non-LEGO fans, much like the botanical sets. LEGO fans can enjoy it, but non-LEGO fans will too, more so than models that scream LEGO with minifigures or IPs attached to them, so heads down to LEGO. Heads down to me if you watch until the end and feel like watching this video next.